President Biden announced the release of Wall Street Journal reporter Evan Gershkovich and Marine veteran Paul Whelan, along with several others, in a multi-nation prisoner exchange with Russia. Natalie Brand reports from the White House, where the president gathered with family members of the newly freed Americans just moments ago. Less than two weeks after a Russian court found Wall Street Journal reporter Evan Gershkovich guilty of espionage in what the U.S. called a sham trial, comes word that he is free. This is an incredible relief for all the family members gathered here. Gershkovich, along with Marine veteran Paul Whelan, are part of a prisoner swap the Biden administration agreed to with Russia. And now their brutal ordeal is over. The Kremlin took Gershkovich into custody while he was on assignment in March 2023. Paul Whelan was arrested in 2018 when he was in Moscow to attend a friend's wedding. He was convicted of spying. Both men and the U.S. denied the charges. Whelan was the longest detained American held in Russia. He was left out of previous prisoner swaps, including the one involving WNBA star Brittany Griner. Securing his release and others has been a priority for the Biden administration. The release of those who are unjustly detained, I think, is a big win for the Biden administration, for the American people, and for the rule of law. While the release is cause for celebration, experts on Russia caution the swap could also come at a cost. I think that Russia, in the sense, uh, wanted to make a deal. This will be a propaganda coup for them uh, because they have gotten some of their prisoners in the West to the Russian Federation. Some foreign policy experts say deals like these give Russian President Vladimir Putin incentive to take more Americans as bargaining chips. Natalie Brand, CBS News, Washington. And a Russian-American journalist, Alsu Kumrashiva, and U.S. permanent resident and Pulitzer Prize winner Vladimir Karamurza were also released in the exchange.